Well, Jamie McCourt and her husband own the Los Angeles Dodgers, one of the great baseball teams in baseball. And Jamie McCourt visited Israel, part of the Maccabea Games number 18, because the Dodgers helped to fund and sponsor the baseball field, where four teams from four nations, the United States, of course, Canada, Mexico, and the host team, Israel. Jamie McCourt. The first thing I did when we got to Dodger Stadium was affix a mezuzah at the doorway of the stadium, which most people don't know. So all I can say is I love Israel more than anyone can know. I've lived here a couple of times. I'd like to spend tons more time here. And anything that the Dodgers can do or that we can do personally, I'm your girl. Jamie, it's not unusual to have a ball club owner who's Jewish, but with a deep commitment and a Jewish soul for the state of Israel, it's great to be here, isn't it? Oh, you don't have any idea how great it is. It's like coming home. It's fantastic. Now, when you say coming home, I know a little bit about your history, but tell our audience, our viewers around the world, why did you say coming home? I've lived here a couple of times. I did a semester of law school at Hebrew University. You know what happens in Israel. Israel grips you. And I feel like all of the Jews who live everywhere else in the world have to do everything they can to support Israel and the people who live here because we don't and it's a very easy life in a lot of places and certainly in the United States it's up to us to do what we can. Well, you made this field possible, you, I mean, the, you, we're really here today, four teams, four nations participating in, a, in the American sport. Can you believe it? But you know, I used to say that everything you needed to know about America you could learn at a baseball game. But I actually believe that anything you need to learn about life you can learn at a baseball game. You know, whether it's about competition or resilience and coming back up to bat and trying again or not necessarily getting right the first time and hoping. There's just so much in the game. And, you know, people complain, complain about, I shouldn't say this to you since you're a television guy, but pace of the game. And the pace of the game is exactly what's the beauty of baseball. It's romantic. You don't have to be, like, glued to the ball to understand what happened. You can talk to the person next to you, whether it's your kid or your mother or your father or your friend. There's just something wonderful about that, I think. Also, this pride factor also evolves into role modeling. Uh, as uh, the, uh, those in Los Angeles who know who you are, you're, they know your Jewish background, yeah. they know you're committed to the Jewish community, and that kind of spurts into other young people getting involved. So. I really hope so. I really do hope so. I think all of us need to make a difference, you know, whatever the passion is. Mine happens to be about education and about the state of Israel, and I just hope that now as, you know, the team settles down and hopefully we'll take the World Series this year, that I'll have even more time to spend in Israel. Perfect Makes you feel great, you know, the, to take note that the Dodgers are also involved not only in baseball life in Israel, but also in the community in Los Angeles. Yeah, no question. But you know what? This is a civic asset, and we're just stewards of a civic asset that belongs to an important city. And there is no more important city to the Jews, in my opinion, than Los Angeles, ironically. I think it's the real next city of the world. 